This is a video that introduces video capture for motion analysis. Even when an object is moving in a straight line, we need to be careful about how that object's motion is captured. So we're going to move that object over to a side on the screen here, and then once again we're going to have the motion of the object. When you're capturing the motion of the image with a short focal length lens, you can see that there's a large distance between the focal surface and the motion of the object. You can see the distance that's represented here by the colored area on the left hand side. By using a longer focal length lens, there will be a larger radius of curvature and the distance between the focal surface and the plane of motion of the object will be smaller. Therefore, there will be less distortion in the video. You can also reduce the distortion by using the image from the center of the field of view, as you can see in this very small area here, where the field of view for the larger focal length lens has been reduced. You can see an increase in distortion by not having the optic axis perpendicular to the object's motion. Here are some quick tips on selection of the camera to shoot the motion of the object. One, use a long focal length lens. Use the longest focal length lens that you can for capturing the motion. Two, using a camera that can collect lots of light will minimize the integration time, and for cameras that allow it, will allow you to increase the shutter speed. For cameras that do not allow this control, they will automatically increase the shutter speed to prevent overexposure of your object. Three, a high quality camera will also have a high collection efficiency and will also help to prevent motion blur. Four, record the shortest possible video that captures the desired motion. Longer videos will be larger files and will take more time to process. Five, shoot with the resolution that is required to capture the needed information. The higher the resolution of the video, the larger the file for the same length of video. You may wish to shoot initially at a higher resolution but if the file is too large, you can use utilities to reduce the resolution of the video to decrease the file size. There are also considerations for the setup and the framing of the motion of the object. One, shoot the motion as far away as possible to make sure that you're using the middle of the field of view for the lens. Two, have the object move through the middle of the field of view or as close to it as possible. Three, Make sure the object is moving in a plane that is perpendicular to the optic axis of the lens. Make sure that the distance to the object of interest is the same or is as close as possible at the beginning of the motion as it is at the end of the motion. Four, use the most stable platform for shooting as possible. Use a tripod if available and avoid handheld recording devices. Five, shoot in an environment with as much light as possible. This will minimize motion blur and make it easier to find the point of interest for your object. If possible, shoot outside because the sun will provide a lot of light. A slightly cloudy day will work best to minimize shadows. Six, use a plain background so that it will be easy to pick out your object. And seven, use a brightly colored or lit point of interest. Party stores will sell self-powered LEDs for use in balloons. So these can be attached to points of interest on the object. You can also use reflective stickers in a bright light source located behind the camera to make the markers highly visible.